Well, good morning, everyone. Well, it's morning right now while I'm going to work on trying to do something here. Sorry, I hadn't held the camera in a while. Um, so, last night, I did a live on Instagram at the abandoned house by the lake. You know, it's been about a year since I've been there. And my plan was to do a Instagram live. And then actually shoot a YouTube video with this camera or, you know, whatever. Um, so I get there and some creepy, sketchy stuff kind of happened. And well, let's just say I didn't have weapon on me per se and I think I might have needed one so I'm brave but there is a difference between bravery and stupidity <laughs> and I would, I would like to say that I am on the uh, smarter side of the bravery side <laughs> um, I do plan on going back there uh, but probably uh, as I'm going to take a weapon with me and possibly uh, someone else just so they can kind of uh, we can kind of watch each other's back so to speak all right but what I'm going to do is I do not have the technical sorry wizardry to take that Instagram video live video that I did last night and figure out how to put it on YouTube except by doing this I'm actually going to just cut the video of the live on my phone and video my phone so yeah I know it's going to probably look kind of cruddy and all but y'all will get a better idea of um, what was going on and if you want I mean you can always subscribe to my Instagram well, then things are up for like I think 24 hours on your story or whatever and it is well I'll let you see it um that mm, maybe nope it ain't all right so I'll tell you is papa p-a-p-a -P -A underscore this underscore and underscore that underscore Explorer. That is my Instagram. Um, you'll have to uh, request or whatever. I got it set up like that. But if you you know if you want to, uh, and I'll accept it and follow back and all. But if you hurry, hurry up and do this, which I'm going to try and get this thing done today, um, you can. There we are. Like I said, it's been a little bit since I've operated the camera. You have to excuse me. Um, but it's in the stories. Um, hopefully I can get it to stay or whatever. But we'll figure out whatever. And I am going to go back to uh, that house. But anyway, let me see what I can do here. I'm going to put this thing and have the camera on it. So hopefully it'll see it good. Alright, give me a minute. <clears throat> Sorry.
almost burnt, right enough to burn paper. Uh, I don't know what that is. Just sit here a moment. Maybe I'll cut the light off. And I'll do this. Well, maybe this will stay up for a little bit. Just waiting. I'm going to go ahead and get the. Uh, let's see, where did that get back here? Yeah. Oh, no. It's got toys. Oh, y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? That is not beer cans. That is Mountain Dew Kickstart cans. Which. too early to be doing what is live. Mm. But anyway, I am at an abandoned house by the lake that I haven't been to in about a year. The last time I was here, some sketchy stuff kind of happened right there at the end. And that is not the reason I've not been back. I've just been working and all like that. <clears throat> but to catch y'all up on it, last time I was here, all right, well, first time I was here, me and Big me and Creative was here. Um, I forget if we were here once or twice. And then I came by myself. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me again. All right, so one of the times, or the time, I forget if we was here once or twice, but um, while we were doing a little investigation and stuff going, we heard a child's toy go off in there. Hey! Um, but we heard a uh, I'm, I'm at an abandoned house by the lake that I haven't been at or been to for about a year. And I was just uh, telling what happened uh, previously here. Uh, myself and Be Creative were here, and we heard a child's toy go off. Now, I'd gone through the house, nobody there, you know, there's no power in the house. Not like that. It's been abandoned for either 10 or 20 years, something like that. And uh, we heard a child's toy go off, so I'm looking all over for this toy, and there isn't one. Um, so that was a little sketchy. And the last time I was here, I was here by myself, and I was doing an investigation. I had my spirit box going, and when I first cut it on, it sounded like a child on it. Now, for y'all that just started, you know, following and I following y'all and stuff like that. My spirit box, I've modified it like guys on uh, Ghost Adventures. They have taken the antenna off of it. So all you get is it's going through the channels, but it's not picking up radio station. So all you're getting more or less is just pure white noise through the stations. And uh, we've had things come through on it. Uh, and I, it sounded like a little girl's voice come through, couldn't make out what she said, and uh, another voice come through, couldn't make out what that said, but that one sounded more like an adult. Um, it was very quick, you know, um, then a little bit after that, I was sitting against
guess I guess you would call it an outside wall. And I heard something like walking outside this place. And felt like and heard and it and it sound or sounded like something was like like pressing against the wall while I was walking. So I hurried up, I got up and looked out the window and they they have a big old uh, glassed in room right there. So I should have been able to see if anything or anybody was there or whatever and I had my flight and got out of there or you know, got in that room, looked where right where I heard the sound, and nothing there. Nothing at all. Well, I was, you know, I was like, I know I heard something. So anyway, so I was like, well, okay. I've been there for like a half hour, 45 minutes, something like that. I said, well, it's time to wrap it up. So I get my stuff together, and I go down these stairs, because it's a two-story house. And uh, as I get out of the stairwell, I take about three steps out of the stairwell, <coughs> Something gets tossed or whatever down the stairwell, like it sounds like a little rock or you know something kind of small. You hear it go you know, down the steps, and nobody's there but me because I do walk around the house and check all that stuff out. So that was the last time I was here, and that was about a year ago. So uh, I haven't really filmed that much past several months because I've been doing a bunch of my food deliveries through DoorDash and Uber Eats and all like that. And I stopped off last weekend, well not last, week, I guess you say weekend before last. And I did a YouTube video and it was, it was pretty good. It was a abandoned place I seen uh, one time making a delivery. That's the good thing about doing the food delivery stuff. You go all around and you can see, you know, you can Past places like, hey, that's abandoned. That looks like it'd be a good thing. So that's a good thing about this. But anyway, I'm going to switch this camera around. I've got my uh, bag of tricks in here. Not the red one, but there's a black one sitting on top. Camera bag. I'm just going to use my phone tonight. Uh, and I'll turn the camera around on my phone when I'm walking up to this house here so y'all can see what it looks like. So I'm going to get out there and do that. Oh, and it is raining. Yay for me. Uh, I ain't going to keep this on long. Oh, hey. Hey, Phil Popper. Oh, Drive around and put up 
mems about grumbling stuff and funny stuff like that. But no, I actually do go out and check things out. Now, what you see, see them wind chimes? <laughs> the last time that myself and B Creative were here, there was no wind, okay? No wind at all. And them um, chimes were actually moving and making a little bit of noise. And there was no wind. Fine. Like I said, I haven't been here in a year. Thereabouts. Keys up. see stuff, you'll hear it. Of course, my big old size 13s are stepping on everything. I hear water dripping. The roof was... Yeah, I hear water dripping. Some move upstairs, to be honest with you. Okay. I moved, I didn't make that noise. See, I don't know that GT bottle be in there. Dripping all upstairs. I'm gonna wait till it's not raining for a few days to go upstairs because I don't want to go through the floor. stuff up there. Because all I need to do is go 
oceanographic floor. So, see what I mean? This is the bottom floor. And I done, that's how limited I'm flowing in there, so it's done, you know. You're about to go, so to speak. And see, this thing is, uh, it's almost like a apartment down here and an apartment up there, because we got a room, we got a kitchen here. We also have a kitchen upstairs, so it's almost like it's an apartment because there is a way to get in to the upstairs from outside also. See, there's the front door. We come in the, I guess you call it the back door, the kitchen door. I am going to wait to drive out. It's been raining for a few days, and obviously we have roof for the shop now. It was halfway gone last year, but it sounds really gone now. Yeah. All right, listen. I am going to go, I'm going to cut this off. Oh, I'm going to turn around. All right. Here we go. I'm going to cut this off and start a actual YouTube video. So, I was just going to do a quick one. Not too long, probably about some of those. Well, luckily I'm 6'2", about 225, and this uh, flashlight I got is... Uh, almost that tall. I ain't gonna lie. I should have brought my little firearm with me. I thought for sure I could take quick steps, and I ain't about to try to tackle nobody right now. I'm gonna hold off on making that YouTube video. Because I swore I heard footsteps up above me. We'll turn back around so we fall back out to the car. Cause ghosts and stuff don't scare me, but I ain't gonna lie, the human element that might be up there, cause I did holler at anybody there. Humans are a lot worse. Then the, the ghost would ever be. You know what I'm saying? I'm not right here. You know, people are worse than animals and all that kind of stuff. You see, that's a whole other living area up there. Like it's got kitchen, bathroom, all that up there. All right. I'm going to head on back to the car now, y'all. You know? see, I do stuff like this. Next time I'm bringing some firepower. Because I've been at work all day and I just stopped in here at the work. I look up in the window to see if I see anything. That's just a raindrop. I don't know if that's on my screen or if it's, I don't think it's on that. Let's see if anybody's up there. I don't see anybody. I think you never know. I swear I heard footsteps up there. Oh well. 
Oh, is that, I'm sorry about the way I had to put it together. <laughs> um, I am actually going to do a YouTube video, or actual regular, you know, YouTube video on that place. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, but that was last night, probably around 9.30 or so, which last night was Tuesday. March 24th, I think, I believe, because today's Wednesday. My days always get messed up, even before this virus thing, because I just, like, work every day. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching. Um, if you like stuff like this, um, you subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. Um, we appreciate all y'all support and all you give me and uh, like I said I'm trying to get back to doing the uh, video a week of course since I do basically I just am my own boss more or less now or contractor subcontractor for the uh, food delivery companies I don't have to wait till the weekend to do stuff. I can do it during the week. Yeah, because I just get up I get up anyway around 7 o'clock in the morning. No matter, no matter what time I go to bed. Because it was like 12, 1 o'clock last night and still woke up around 7 this morning. Uh, the perils of getting older. <laughs> Alright, well. I have to excuse that one. I, I'm sort of like uh James a fan. I'm I'm blind well I'm blind in well I'm blind in one eye. I can see good out the other, but that one eye gets to drift into this all and yay. Um but anyway, I'm gonna get out of here, I'm gonna see if I can get this thing posted real quick, and then I'm gonna hit the road and do my job. So y'all have a wonderful day. Enjoy it if you can. If uh you know you know, doing that self-quarantine thing, that's good, alright, because we want to get this thing knocked out, so we can get everything back to normal, <clears throat> uh, and I know businesses are hurting and all like that, uh, I know restaurants, small mom and pop places are, hey, if they got delivery or takeout or whatever like that, just you know do that because you know they're they're struggling now so you know hit the local places or like I said if they deliver through whatever you know uber doordash postmates grubhub geek uh, bike squad whatever it is you know give them a you know text them or Get on their app or whatever and order something from them. They, they, they're working hard still trying to keep up with everything. And they got to reduce staff in there. I know there's the old Charlie's that I deliver from. Might be like two people in the kitchen working. And one of them, I'm pretty sure, is the store manager. So, you know, they got reduced staff. Give them a break on, you know, getting stuff ready and all like that because... They're still trying to serve the public and all like that with reduced staff and also, you know, cut them some slack on time and all. Alright, well, I'm going to get off here. Y'all have a great day or a great night, whatever time you're watching this. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. This is Papa Explorer, and I'm out.